Google Discover is used by Google to show content to the users that are related to what they have searched for based on their web and their app activity. Wait a minute, is that not the same thing as Google Search? Well, not so. Let's examine the difference between Google Discover and Google Search. Hello, welcome to EduCraft World, where you learn everything about SEO, WordPress, and website design. Now let's ask ourselves, what is Google Search? Let's consider Talia, who is pregnant and wants to get more information on how pregnancy in the first trimester affects the mother's baby's health. So she types in pregnancy in the first trimester into the Google Search box on her phone or her laptop. Then Google Search result page displays helpful information that are based on or related to Talia's query. Talia can go ahead, scroll through the search engine result page and click the link she feels best relates to the answer she's searching for to visit the post and read its content. So what about Google Discover? So what about Google Discover? Let's assume you that love visiting Chelsea's posting website. Lost reading latest news and punch website, love visiting uploader.com for the latest movie upload. Now these are all our interest. With Google Discover, Jula gets updates from Chelsea Sports Team, Punch website, WAP loaded without doing a search for any of them. While Google Search Algorithm is solely responsible for displaying search engine results page, when Talia on, or any other person do a search online, Google Discover will allow Julia to manage and customize the updates she gets, follow, unfollow. This she can actually set by visiting um, the Google app, google.com on either a tablet or even a laptop, or by just going ahead and swipe it right from your phone's home screen. To learn more about how to customize Discover and what updates you want to follow or unfollow, you click the link in the description below. Now let's ask ourselves, how do you make sure your content shows up in Google Discover? For your content to show up in Google Discover, you must show the following in your content. One, expertise. Two, authoritativeness. Three, trustworthiness. Other things that must be contained in your post include page titles that summarizes the post content accurately. Images that are at least 1,000 pieces uh, you must let your content tell a story. You must let your content provide unique and detailed solution to the problem tackled in your post. You must make sure your feed is not blocked with your robots.txt file. You must make sure your feed is always up to date. In conclusion, to drive more traffic to your post and website, always aim to write good content that solves the problem in detail. Overall, aim for good user experience.